an emitted electron has a linear momentum of 5 exponent uh, negative 24 kilogram meter per second. Calculate the de Broglie wavelength of the electron. Okay, so this question provide us, okay, let me adjust, uh, provide us the linear momentum. Okay, linear momentum is the symbol P. Okay, we are using electron, electron charge. And find the de Broglie wavelength. Yeah? The question asks us to find the de Broglie wavelength. That means the question want to find lambda. Uh, so this question is simple. Uh, you, uh, this is the momentum provided. Okay. Uh, just use the de Broglie wavelength formula. Okay. It has the wavelength and the momentum. Okay. Just substitute inside. Uh, the h is called the Planck constant. You can find uh, h in the list of constant value, which is a six point six three exponent negative thirty four. Okay, divided by divided by this um, momentum five exponent negative twenty four. Ah, uh, so um, divide and the answer will be. Let me check. Ah. Uh, so the answer will be, okay, if you divide, you will get uh, 1.33, yeah, 1.33 uh, exponent negative 10 uh, meter. Okay, that's the, that's the lambda. Uh, that's the lambda, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, what's next? Yeah? Uh, the non-relativist, uh, sorry, the non-relativist, uh, relativistic electron beam in an electron microscope is formed by a setup similar to the electron gun used in the davison germer experiment. What is the voltage needed to accelerate an electron which has the de Broglie wavelength of uh, 0 0.25 nanometer? Okay, be careful with the unit. It is nano. Yeah? Nanometer. Uh, yeah, I already changed for you. Uh, change to SI unit meter. Okay, so the nano is uh, exponent negative nine. Okay, exponent negative nine. So the question uh, asks for the voltage. Uh, voltage means uh, the big V. Yeah, big V. And the question already give you the lambda. Yeah? This is the lambda. Uh, accelerate an electron. How? And this is the davison germer experiment. How to accelerate the electron? We use a voltage, a potential difference. We have two parallel plate, positive. Uh, plate and negative plate uh, so the electron will be accelerated because of the potential difference yeah? uh, we have learned this in this uh, accelerating chamber in for the uh, electron diffraction davison germer experiment okay so in the accelerating chamber we uh, we use this one uh? Uh, actually it's conservation of energy uh, the potential energy change to kinetic energy so it's uh, uh, EV equal to half mv square. Uh, so this is the formula we're going to use. EV equal to half mv square. And um, that is to find the voltage. And for the wavelength, okay, because the question gives us the wavelength, the de Broglie wavelength, we're going to use the de Broglie formula, uh, lambda equal to h over mv. Uh, all right. So uh, the question gives you the lambda. Uh, so we have two formula ev equal to half mv square and lambda equal to h over mv uh, that is to find for this uh this this these two formula is for these questions okay so um we need to find the voltage that means uh, the question gives you the lambda uh, so for the de Broglie formula you just substitute the lambda then you can find the velocity velocity of the electron accelerated uh, this is the mass mass of electron we, because we are we are using electron we are accelerating an electron so the mass is the mass of electron understand mass of electron also you can find in the uh, list of um, list of constant which is uh, uh, 9.11 exponent negative 31 okay kilogram okay you can find this value mass of electron in the list of constant uh, so just substitute inside here um then uh wavelength is substitute and then you can find velocity once you have the velocity you can substitute in here velocity here and uh, electron charge yeah, we the we are accelerating electron so the charge actually is the electron charge okay the charge is the electron charge okay 
uh, so uh, which is 1.6 exponent uh, negative 19 okay substitute then you can find the voltage uh, voltage needed okay or if you want to a uh, more direct more direct uh, way uh, from wavelength wavelength directly get the uh, wavelength directly get the voltage you can use the combined formula which is lambda equal to h lambda equal to h over square root 2 mev uh, because um, these two formula ev equal to half mev square and lambda equal to h over mv these two these two formula combine we get this formula uh, yeah to relate the wavelength directly to the voltage yeah that means how we manipulate the voltage and uh, how do we manipulate the voltage and how it changes the wavelength yeah how it changes the wavelength you know if you increase the voltage you actually Dire directly decreasing the wo the wavelength you increase the voltage you decrease the wavelength uh, that is what it means yeah so you can use this formula also this formula also actually provided in the list of formula given in the exam yeah list of formula you can find from there also list of formula because list of formula uh, provide you uh, with this formula also yeah so you can use this formula also okay so maybe we just use this formula directly okay and we can solve the questions Right. Uh, so just substitute the wavelength, which is uh, zero point two five exponent uh, negative nine meter. Uh, after I sub uh, convert to SI unit, and uh, h is six point six three exponent negative thirty four. Okay, and then uh, over square root mass. We use mass of mass of electron. Okay, we use mass of electron because we accelerate an electron. Okay, mass of electron which is uh, 9.11 exponent negative 31 okay and then um, uh, this is the mass of electron I just want to write it there this is the mass of electron uh, mass of electron and then this is the electron charge multiply electron charge so electron charge is um, uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19 uh, exponent negative 19 so and then uh, we can find the voltage. Uh, yeah, quite the long one. Okay, so we can find the voltage. Yeah. So uh, you need to cross multiply, square, square both sides, and you can find the voltage finally. So the voltage uh, given is equal to the voltage will be equal to uh, 24.13 volt. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay very direct uh, questions okay so see you in the next questions yeah